Oh. Yo, everyone get gas. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? This is a big video prior to the FA Cup final. I'm joined by a very ugly Arsenal fan. Don't know what's going on with his hair or beard. He's looking absolutely dreadful. Um, but obviously, give him, give him, him, don't give him too much stick because he's got a lot of heartbreak to deal with um, next week. FA Cup final week. It's time for your preview. Mr. Flowers, how are you feeling? Hi, guys. How's it going? Check of Flowers, checking in. Um, the main man on Viper Sport, obviously. Uh, I don't know why it keeps going on about my looks. I'm clearly, you know, the best looking person probably on YouTube, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> I'm doing well because on Saturday, like Abdul mentioned, we have the massive game. The biggest game of all time. It's Chelsea versus the Arsenal, the FA Cup final on Saturday. And I cannot wait to get our revenge for the Europa League final, baby. And get our place back in the Europa League. Yes! Come on, the Europa League. Okay, well, I, I want to I wanna ask you what gives you the confidence that you're going to beat us. Please explain to me what you're Because we're just dead good confidence. in cup finals. 4-1 <laughs> wasn't really dead good, was it? You yeah, were yeah, whatever. Terrible. FA Cup finals. FA Cup finals. We're not good in cup finals. We're good in FA Cup finals. Like I said in the other video, guys, the FA Cup is our cup. We know this. It's got the Emirates. It is the Emirates FA Cup. It's the Arsenal FA Cup. The Emirates is our stadium, right? We've already bought it, guys. Okay? Just don't tell anyone at home. Just don't tell your mates. I know. I've got insider knowledge on these things. So, yeah, we're going to win. But anyway, I know we're, like, we're obviously going to win, but for the sake of, you know, uh, excitement and rivalry and stuff even though I know we're gonna win it's like inevitable we will do a match preview because that's what the fans want it's what you guys want so let's get into it then shall we um, first off what, what are we starting off with what are we starting off with because uh, I ain't got a clue <laughs> Honestly, let's, let's, let's go off let's go off form let's yeah, go right, off form right, right, first right. and foremost and in all in all due respect to both sides we've both had an up and down season uh, us we've had a better season than you but regardless i mean recently way better, way you know better. you've you've had um not gonna you've, lie you've I had your gassed. victories i was gassed when we beat man city and liverpool people in the comments That's calling what I'm me saying. deluded right maybe i was a bit excited but there was something to be excited about we dropped back to the arsenal level when we lost to aston villa um but i still think that was a result of that was just a bit bit of a drop off because we thought Aston Villa don't really care. The same when we played at Watford, you know, that's not the Arsenal that will turn up against Chelsea on Saturday. It's just not. Uh, on our day, we can beat any team apart from Barcelona in the Champions League final, and then our rival moves to that team that beat us. But on our day, we can beat any team. In a final. No, but the, the thing is, no, I'm going to stop you right there. You've had your waffle session there. So I'm going to stop you uh, in your tracks. Like every I can't, I can only bear a, a certain amount of time of an Arsenal waffling. They just chat so much shit. But anyway, him talking about, oh, yeah, we, we turn up in FA Cups, FA Cup games and we beat Liverpool and Man City. Fair, fair enough. First of all, you beat Liverpool. I'll give you due respect. I've got nothing to say. We lost to them 5-3 the other day. We shouldn't. We, we should have performed better regardless. Okay, I'll give you that. The Man City game was one of the worst, best performances I've ever watched in my life. That was so dreadful that you scraped a 2 -nil. You li You literally scraped no, a 2-0 win. You, you scraped a 2-0 win. You scraped a 2-0 win. Did you watch the game? I watched watch the full the game? game. I watched You're the full game. Blind. I watched the full game. You're Hold blind. on, let me, let, me, let, me, let, me finish, let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. So if those are the days that you turn up, what about the days we turn up? What about that Man United victory the other day? That was turning up. That was showing what football was. The Wolves game the other day against a really strong Wolves side. That was turning up. We can turn up too, but trust me, our turn up is a lot more different. And I can assure you, I'm, I'm pretty sure both teams will turn up at the FA Cup final at Wembley this Saturday. But if both teams are going to turn up... <laughs> There's a level. There's levels to this. That's all I'm going to say. There's levels to this. Arsenal turning up and defending like absolute maniacs is not class. You know, it's not a class performance by any means. It's not. You finished. I'm. Fi I'm not even finished. I've got a lot to say, but I'm. I'm going to let you talk. Go for it. <laughs> People know you're deluded, mate. I've seen your team this season. What was that? Pulisic. 
Pulisic in the team of the oh, season. No. I said it though. Oh, bro. No, right. I All said I'm it though. No, is, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I said it. I said it. I said it. I don't want people in the comments to roast you. They'll roast you anyway. They've already roasted you. I said it. What I'm trying to say. I said it. I said it. I said. I said. Pulisic was a very run. Like it was a very. Um. What's the word? Stupid. What's the word, man? No, no, yeah, no. Ridiculous. Uh, it was a very um, awful decision. Biased pick. It was a it was a very biased pick. No, no. I know he probably wouldn't make the team of the but as a Chelsea fan, if someone who was making Deluded. that decision, I was being Deluded. I was being he wasn't even in the team. It was he was an honourable mention who was honorable a slash. Mention. Money it's not was World on the War He was on the it's left. It's a bloody team of this season. Honourable well, mention. I put him in there because I was I was I was I was delu I was Look, not deluded. <laughs> let's just, I said, let's delete. just <laughs> I said I'm deluded. Is, FA Cup final. We started on form. We've been waffling a lot, guys. But you'll have to bear with us. Form's out the window. You know this in cup finals. Form is out of the bloody window. It's like the playoff final. It doesn't matter how good you've been. Like say we beat City and Liverpool, and we're shit. So we can beat you. Um, let's go. Let's move on to just who's got the better team. Who's got the better squad depth? What player's going to make the difference in this final? Because that's what's going to well, come down to it, yeah? Uh, managers, team selection, tactics, and ultimately the players on the pitch. So what do you want to start with? Do you want to start with tactics, manager? Tactics and managers, the same sort of thing. So do you want to start with that or yeah. do you want to start with players? Yeah, let's go with that. I think um, tactics, I think this won't be a long one, though, to be honest with you, because I think both managers are on the same level. There's no, it's not like a, a world-class manager that against like a manager that's just come into a managerial role. I think they're both on similar levels. They've shown it this season. Um, but if we're going to really talk facts, we are obviously on a higher level than you, hence why we're still, you know, still doing, you know, we got through the Champions League and, and why we're in the top four. And we, we, we convincingly went into the FA Cup final. We beat Liverpool and Man United on our way to the FA Cup final. Mm, impressive. So. But we beat Man City. And they really wanted to win. We beat Man City. We, really we, beat, we, beat, Man City. we beat Man City in the league. What's your point? Well, your point was you were talking about you road to the FA Cup final. My point was we had, a, we had to beat Man City in the semi-final. All right. That's yeah. my point. We were better than Man United. That's my point. On, what's, we were your, what's your about take on the and managers? And you start going on about the road to the FA Cup final. No, but that was just facts, though. That's got, I'm just I'm showing just you showing that you we, could, facts we overcame. Well. I just burned you, mate. You really haven't, but carry on chatting a load of right. nonsense. We knew Liverpool didn't care about the FA Cup, and um, you know Man City did. They wanted to win it, so and they turned up. But we were just the better team. But anyway, um, Arteta. Yeah, I believe in the long run. Arteta will be a better manager because I think he's got a better footballing brain. People in the comments, whatever, don't care. Lampard was a way better wait, player. Wait, wait, wait. Lampard, not talking footballing brain on the pitch. I mean, off the pitch. Um, Lampard How do you is a know that? How... Lampard's a great manager. I just think on the day, Arteta will outclass uh, Lampard in terms of tactics. And I'm, I'm saying this now. We're going to go five at the back. But Mustafi's out injured. So we could go with a four at the back. It depends. <sighs> Um, but to be honest, like you said, both pl both managers are on an even playing field. Um, there's not much to split between them. It's going to be quite interesting. Yeah. But I, I don't even know. That's why I'm saying it's the, into they're it. so early I think in their career. Sit back they're so and, and hit you on the counter because you'll want to dominate the ball. I think that's yeah. what's going to happen. I think you'll have most of the possession, and we'll hit you on the counter with Pepe, Lacazette, and Aubameyang, which is lethal. And it's more lethal than that lamppost you've got up front. And if he scores against us on the final. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump out has. the window. I tell you now, I'm ending. Well, it all. yeah, no. If if there's if there's one thing, if there's one thing, I think that was a very good point you made there about Arsenal. For sure, I think if there's any way that you're going to beat us, I think it is um, via counter-attacking football because we've seen this season uh, our defence hasn't been the strongest and we, we are susceptible to get caught on the counter or, or by set, set, set pieces. So I, I can imagine Arsenal getting like a corner or a free kick mm. and making the most out of that. I think what, what I'm again, worried about David Luiz, I really am, because ex-Chelsea player, I just think he'll do something yeah. stupid. I really do. I think that... I just can see it happening. Well, that's why it's a, that's why it's a weird game because the a situation like you've just mentioned and you mentioned again with the David Luiz thing, it could easily go the other way in terms of we are really good at playing. I mean, you're good at the counter-attacking side of things. I think we're really good at build-up play once we get mm. into that uh, final third with mm. Mount, Pulisic and Giroud. Giroud showed it. Though, I mean, the, the mm. second goal against Wolves, it was Pulisic to Mount. Mount didn't even have to look where he was passing, passed it straight into Giroud. I and agree. He used, like, I agree. Like, I he used, his, he used his body completely to get in there and 
score a goal that a lot of strikers might well, not score because they don't have that type of playing ability. In midfield and your attacking fluidity is better than ours. Um, mm, but I think sure. we are built at the moment as a counter attacking team. We've got really good full backs who are pacey. Bellerin and Tierney mm. on, on, on the wings as a full back. And I'd be worried as a Chelsea fan, maybe Saka as well. And then we've got Abamyang mm. and Lacazette and Pepe. And I just think, oh, I'd be shitting well, who plays in the Who's got, who, like, who would start in the middle for you guys? I'm about your attack. I, I love Mason Mount. I think he's a great player. I, I, but if you look at... I'm not really too scared. The main the main person I'm scared about is Giroud. Just because he used to play for Arsenal. He did it in the Euro, uh, European Cup. Um, Are you forgetting about Pulisic? Yeah, yeah. I, I, honestly, mate. I, honestly, I, I do. He's, he's all right, but I'm not scared of Pulisic at all. No, not really. I, I'd be more scared of Pepe... Okay. If I was a Chelsea fan, I'd be more scared of Pepe because he can just Pepe. He can just whip one top bins like out of nowhere. No, I, I'm not even uh, Pepe. You spent what seventy two million on him. It was like the Kepper of mate. He's position. had seventeen goals and assists this season. <laughs> all right, all right. I was I'm missing, but I'm laughing while I'm saying it. But no, chill. Um, I think the the game towards and like the fifty sixty minute Man onwards. Man City. Hold on, hold on. 50, 60th minute onwards, it's going to be really decided in the middle. Because once once a team finds the pace in the middle, like Kovacic said the the pace against uh, Wolves the other day, I feel like it's, it'll go for the same with you guys. If you can set the pace in the middle, that that will bring you a better chance yeah, to be well, counter attack. To, be honest, uh, to counter attack isn't that bad. You know, Shaka and Sabaya well, do saying. a decent job. Um, yeah. And to be honest, like Kante's injured, isn't he? So we've got Kovacic, Jorginho. Um, Kovacic, Jorginho played there, and then we'll probably have ooh, five. Oh, so we, we, we're going to play a five. Well, three at the back. So it'll be it'll be Rudiger, Zuma, Aspilicueta, and then we'll have two wing backs, Alonso and Rhys James. In the middle, you'll have Jorginho and Kovacic. So we'll have essentially like a four in midfield, two wing backs, and two side then you've midfielders. Then you got Mason Mount who played just in front. Uh, yeah, well, no, it'll be it'll be like yeah, it can be oh, like that, the but then he might, he might go for a front yeah, free. No, no, yeah, 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 he'll go for a front free. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. The pace will be set in the middle of, honest, the, uh, of the pitch, I'm not, man. Like attacking wise, we're better than you. Like uh, Mason Mount, and Pulisic, and Giroud are good, but it's not Pepe, Lacazette, Aubameyang. You know, we've got the top. We've got you know one of the best goal scorers in the league. Lacazette's got good hold up plays. Giroud's hold up plays better, and he's more of a threat in the box. But and Lacazette can bang them out of nowhere. We've seen that against. You, you've got you've got good you've got good names right you've got good names Aubameyang is probably better than all our three front three I'll agree yeah. with you on that but Pepe and Lacazette haven't convinced me to the point where you say right now they might be bigger names than Pulisic and Mount but I'm sorry they're, they're, no, they're, I agree. if you're talking and about I agree. a team Pulisic and put together it's not going to be better if I was going to pick a front three I'd go with Arsenal's front three with, for, for experience and just pure technical ability I'd, I'd just go with the Arsenal front three rather than a Chelsea front three that's all I'm saying, and that's exactly why you're, and that's exactly why you're tenth. And I've lost him. Sorry, guys, we just experienced some technical difficulties there. Um, I apologise for all the viewers at home. We will, will now resume the programming. Typical, absolutely typical, mate. Yeah, my phone died, guys. Sorry, but as we were saying, we're rambling on anyway. I think um, let's just wrap it up, shall we? Let's go over score prediction and how you think the game's going to go down. You take the floor, mate. I think that it's going to be... My full-time score is going to be Chelsea 3, Arsenal 1. I think we're going to go up 1-0. They may drag it back to 1-1. And then later in the second half, 70th minute onwards, uh, Giroud will score a goal. And it'll be a 3-1 victory for the Blues. And we will be lifting our first silverware with Frankie Lampard in the building. The building. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with a comedy of errors to concede the first goal. Potentially involving David Luiz with Giroud um, on the score sheet. Inevitably, Giroud will score in this game. And I either think it will be in the first 10 minutes of the game or the last 10 minutes of the game. I think we'll get back into the game. Aubameyang will definitely score. Um, I think Lacazette will definitely score. And I think it will be 2-1. And we'll just hold it out. I think we'll come back from 1-0 uh, uh, down and beat you 2-1. 
I just don't think you've got it in you to score more than one goal against this world-class defence. Hold on. Not really, I'm joking. One more thing. Um, is it, is no, it Mustafi out for no, this game? I think two, I think I'm going for 2-1. I'm going for 2-1. I think there'll be goals in this game. I mean, it could could be th could be 3-1. I think 3-1 from you is a, a good prediction, but um, hopefully it's on our side, not yours. It isn't, isn't Mustafi injured for this game? Oh, yeah, he is, he is injured. I said David Luiz. So, so, exactly, you're missing one of... That's good news for us. <laughs> Mustafi played good against Man City. What are you talking about? No, no, I'm only joking. He's just a meme, isn't he? But, no, he was all right. Um, I think, to be to be honest, holding Kolasinac, David Luiz as centre-backs is really worrying. And you could really go it. I think Lampard's going to come out all guns firing. He's going to be like, right, boys, let's fucking do him. Why are we Chelsea? We Chelsea. I'm for Lampard, mate. What best players ever make? Go out there. You show him who's boss. And you're going to dominate the ball, probably score, but then ultimately counter-attack and we're going to do you in, mate. Ooh, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to bust your load straight away. Just put it all out there on the floor and you're just going to get tired and we're just going to counter-attack you. Look, Jacob, I, 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 I am looking forward to doing a review per post-game with you with me with my hands up in the air as FA Cup champions. I appreciate your time as always, but now go and prepare for some heartache of another terrible season for Arsenal Football Club. It's typical. I mean, you should be used to it anyway. You've been an Arsenal fan long enough. Your heart's probably strong to hold that. But um, yeah, man, I'll bring some tissues to the review and uh, I'll wipe some of your tears for you, bro. Yeah, no worries, mate. That's fine. Uh, don't really care, to be honest. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> oh, you knob. Bro, I'm, I'm going to call it there because um, he, I can't stand talking to an Arsenal fan for 15 minutes. I'm sorry, guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Follow us on all our social media. Link is below. And uh, catch us for some more content very soon. I'll catch you guys shortly. Yo, everyone get gas. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready?